My name is Captain Christopher Marriott. I'm a KC-135 pilot for the Nana Not There Fueling Squad. I knew that I wanted to be a pilot ever since I was little. Uh, even before I can remember, my mom always said that uh, that, that was the only thing I've ever wanted to be. I never wanted to be a police officer, a fireman, or anything like that. I've always said I wanted to be a pilot. I guess the passion for flying just comes from, um, I guess, like any any passion anyone would really have. Uh, it's it's something that's, um, I think it's kind of ingrained in you. It's something that if you don't do it for a while, you start to feel like something's left out. Um, it's something that, uh, it's, it's a part of you. Well, we were flying out of uh, Yakota, taking off on a, on a mission out of Yakota, and uh, it was, uh, the sun was just starting to come up. Just Mount Fuji, was, it was a completely clear day. Uh, there was a few clouds that were hanging around in the valleys. It was kind of surrounding Mount Fuji, just made for a, a really picturesque, view of Mount Fuji and they step climbed us up around Mount Fuji and you could just we just had a good at least 15 20 minute shot of just being able to look at that be able to see a, um, the snow capped uh, top of Mount Fuji it was really cool. What I enjoy most about flying is uh, most of the challenge of flying um, when I was uh, a young co-pilot my first deployment we were flying a mission out of Afghanistan um, there were uh, troops on the ground who were in contact with the enemy uh, in a heavy firefight and their A-10s that were pro providing close air support for them and the A-10s were starting to run out of gas real fast, but there was uh, some weather in the area, and it was, and uh, so they were uh, doing yo-yo ops. One was staying down below, uh, providing the uh, uh, close air support for the troops in contact. The other one was popping up to the tanker, getting gas, and they were kind of alternating back and forth. Um, it was uh, it was a it was a hard it was a very uh, difficult uh, time trying to get them on the boom because there was so much weather. We we're trying to find a patch of clear airspace. We finally did find a patch of clear airspace. We we're able to give them the gas so they could go back down there and be able to support the uh, support the troops on the ground. I feel like a sense of accomplishment, like I was doing the mission, you know, like I was helping out the guys on the ground and actually uh, um, making the mission happen for them.